Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating as we come to the end of your season here. I hope you've had a great one and all is well with you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days. Check a different part of your chart or different parts of your chart to get a more complete energetic profile. Or also look around on the Monday post because the reading format or style is different from week to week. There's a love reading, there's a pick a card reading, there's monthly, uh, mid-month, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Thanks to everybody too for supporting the channel by subscribing and of course hitting that like button and just watching the readings. I do appreciate it. It's fun. Oops, there's a card coming out, so we'll let that come out. And if you like tarot and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join and subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what messages do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please? Oops, I'm going to let that come out too because it didn't want to go in. All right, here we go. Cards feel ready. Okay. All right, so we'll see here in a minute what um, we're going to use these as clarifiers. Today, we've got here the Eight of Wands, the Star, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Five of Wands here, Judgment, the Eight of, of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Well, let's see what came out here. Oh, interesting. This is nice here. You had... Um, your two clarifiers, the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Well, I definitely feel like with the Star or even the Ace of Wands here, we've got something to do with the relationship. And I felt like there was some uncertainty as I looked at that Five of Wands, but also a feeling of kind of being concerned about what people are thinking. There's something about that and wanting to let go of it, not wanting to be tied to somebody else's limited beliefs or small view. Because if you have people around you who have a small view of the world, when you start to expand, they're going to get envious. It happens all the time. And a weak person will stab you in the back every single time. So I do see you, it feels like almost putting someone in their place or doing something to really set a clear boundary. I feel like you're in this place here with the King of Cups of really being in the fullness of your own potential. So if it's something new you're starting, if it's a business or a career move, and there's something about this, I feel like it's about living in your own gift. You know, if you're in a place where you're making a change, it's moving forward. And I feel like it's got, you've got all the elements of success and not wanting to be under anybody else's limitations. Now, if it's a relationship, because of course with this Ace of Cups, You've got something new and exciting here. It feels like if it's a rebirth on a relationship with the star, that may be. But there's depth here. There's a maturity here. And it grows. It's a love that grows. And there's also, too, um, this, this, what feels like the foundation of it all is your own self-development. You know, and the investment in yourself and growing and it allows you this place of just not being so tied to what other people think because there's definitely something with the three eight of swords and that five of wands being wanting to move away from that um so if it's somebody who's got an imposing viewpoint on your life it's not going to be in this next spin around the sun here uh going to be that important so you have here water pisces cancer scorpio you've got Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Of course, you've got Aquarius too in the star, and you got fire here too. So it's all about taking action. You know, I do feel like you're in this place of, with the Eight of Wands, speaking your mind and moving forward too. And in a relationship, it may be taking it to the next level, or it may be that reconciliation that somebody here is wondering about. The Eight of Wands is the arrows of love in the tarot, but it's also too, for some of you, it's like, unleashing this passion for your life and it's all, in all areas it's like I feel like you won't spend time on stuff that you don't want to do you just won't do it anymore and if you feel like you've wasted time doing that in the past it's you know nothing is wasted in God's economy 
And when I say God, I kind of mean the universe, but that's a saying. So with the Eight of Wands, things are definitely moving forward and there's great momentum here. It's a wonderful card to have. We talked a little bit about this revitalization with the star. It's also wish fulfillment. So it's being clear about what you want. You know, sometimes what happens, we are unclear, uncertain about what we want and, and there's hesitation and fear there. So it, it's like we're trying like hell to manifest and going, why isn't this coming? Well, there's something embedded that says no. And so inside of you, of course, not outside of you, it's all internal. But with the star, this helps you to get clarity. It's a card of meditation, of connecting with source energy and being in a place of complete acceptance too. And so from that area or that level, what you'll manifest is beautiful all around you. And if the star is also self-care. So it's not just the investment in yourself in terms of spirituality there's a it feels like even in the material sense taking good care of yourself i do feel like for somebody here if you got a little bit of money you go out and buy something that really pleases you and maybe it's just something simple like i see somebody with a zip-up jacket uh, there's something about it though that you just really like um but i do feel like you get some things coming your way too that are just nice it's just nice energy so with the ace of swords you know, this is where shit gets a little more serious. It, it's that commitment, that unwavering commitment, dedication to the direction in your life. And I feel like for somebody here, and this is not a, I don't mean this in a negative sense, you start to develop an agenda and it's not a, in a bad way. It's like every day you wake up and you know what you have to do and not, not have to, but like you get to, you, you know, the things that are important to do. So it gives you this ultimate purpose and this feeling of just wanting to go do it. And so, especially if you're living in a situation where every day or every night you you go to you go to sleep and you think, "Thank God I'm finally going to sleep," and you wake up with dread, there's got to be a change here. And so, this is definitely authoritative, and it's also communication. You have communication here a few different times. There's definitely communication in terms of a relationship. And it's this is about being seriously committed to with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. There's mental clarity here. So any uncertainty that we talked about with that Five of Wands, this helps to be the antidote. This is the solution to some of that Five of Wands chaos that comes from the mentally stuck energy of things like the Eight of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords is about acceptance. And so there may have been heartache in the past. And there may be this reluctance about moving forward for some of you in a job or career sense. You're kind of feeling caught in the middle of not being uncertain is what I keep getting. It's like there's a paycheck here that's very secure and that uncertainty of moving forward. And so it does cause some angst. You know, this is a card of heartache. And so we want to be careful not to stay in this too long because you'll keep manifesting situations to match it. And here we go again. We'll talk briefly about this because we've already kind of chatted about this five of wands. It really is important where your eye falls on a card. And for me today, it went right to the the kid looking upward. He just looks uncertain to me. And so these are kids though, right? They're, they're kids playing with, with wands. They're not dangerous, but there's it's time for a change. And it's also to a card of immaturity. And so part of this reading is growing. It's the, the, the kind of energy that judgment brings. This is, re, this is real maturity. It's the second to last major arcana, of course. And it's this card of you know, liberation. You know, you're released from any resistance here. And again, the unclothed characters, they're all about acceptance and of self-acceptance. And when you know yourself, you know the universe. You're in this place of moving forward and the, the decision gets made, whatever it is that's been holding you up here, the decision gets made, but it brings in this rejoicing, okay? Judgment is not a negative decision and it feels like it releases you from this eight of swords kind of energy. So it's allowing yourself to meditate, quiet your mind. And then the next thing you know, you'll hear, you'll get those intuitive hits. You know, I had something i was away out of town and i was looking for something that was in an alley and it was a little confusing to find and i started to kind of give up and go ah maybe i'm not supposed to go there and and i decided oh, i think i'll cross the street and go in the other alley and there it was so it's kind of like that like you allow yourself your mind to guide you so when and when i say mind i mean that higher part of your mind 
So with the Eight of Swords, it's that self-imposed prison. It's that uh, damn hamster wheel spinning and spinning. But with this too, there's also too many people's opinions. And so with that, they don't live your life for you, right? They can have all the opinions they want. But I get somebody getting this text from somebody of like, a list of things they think that you should do. And it's like, I, you might have to temporarily block them because with this, it just makes it more confusing having other people's ideas. And so you'll find that when people do that and it doesn't work out, they quickly backpedal and say, well, that's not what I meant. You didn't execute it correctly. You didn't implement my plan correctly, right? So with the six of wands, this has things moving forward again. I like the eight and the six here because it's confidence. It's a, a card of feeling confident. And also, too, in a relationship, it's feeling secure again. There's a confidence here where it may have been insecure before. This is, lends itself to that more secure energy. But it all kind of rests on being in that place of alignment, of meditating, quieting the mind, all that noisy stuff, the lower part of the mind, the more of the conscious mind so the subconscious can you know be influenced in a positive direction so let's see what the angels have to say here for you cancer and a timeline for cancer you've got here it's up to you all right you get what you are improving health okay mind body spirit though all right especially with the star because that's great healing energy helpful people so again though i think you got to be again judicious about who you're letting in here because there's somebody in here that doesn't feel that helpful to me but um with the right people there may be more of an open-minded person around within the next few months they say and they say don't stop. So good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you and I'll be back again soon.